Hi, it's Jenny Dye here at the Manti Temple, and I'm here with Emily Ut. Tell us what you do, Emily. I am the church's architectural historian, so my job is protecting these great historic places like temples and historic meeting houses and the historic sites of the church. That's fascinating, and if I may, when we had our tour earlier, I was just enthralled. I like I like every time you were about to give an answer, I was like, tell me more, tell me more, tell me more. I want to geek out about all the things. What is it that you think is the most special or f your favorite part of what has changed and also what has remained the same yeah. in this temple? Um, there's a lot of things I love. Sure. Um, the thing that I think I love the most that has stayed the same, this is going to sound odd, is the exterior. That we haven't messed with it. I love that we have made the exterior safer, that we've waterproofed it. It was actually really cool as we were digging that we dug down to the bottom of the footings okay, and then waterproofed it. It was really cool to see the original foundation and to okay. be able to touch those stones and, and just kind of, yeah. and, and in a couple spots, see the chisel marks even oh, wow. of those original people that had built the temple. It was cool to have that kind of personal connection standing in the bottom of a very deep hole. Sure. Looking up <laughs> at the building. The other thing I love that stayed the same is everything else. I love that we haven't changed the interior. You walk in and it feels like it did before the renovation, but it also feels like it did in the 1880s, that the murals are here, the spiral staircases are here. There's just enough creak in the floor to make you feel like you're in an old building, yeah. but we've taken out all the, the little nicks and scratches and bumps and all of those things. But to say to the general mm -hmm. community, we've got the open house coming up. Mm -hmm. It's not a long run of an open mm -hmm. house. It's March 14th through April 5th, right mm -hmm. before conference. And Manti is not really a huge city. Mm -hmm. Why should people make the drive specifically to tour this temple? Yeah, so I'd almost say come back when it's open for ordinances mm -hmm. and spend the time doing the work that it's, that it's meant to do. I would say come to this temple for the open house to connect with your ancestors a little bit, to connect a little bit with our pioneer story. Mm -hmm. um, but the open house is short on purpose because we didn't do very much. Mm -hmm. So the real invitation is to come back after dedication. Beautiful. And do the work. Excellent, and do you have a personal link to this temple? I don't, my ancestors are from Northern Utah. They helped build the Logan Temple. My personal link to this building is the hours I've spent here. Sure. I've been researching this building for more than a decade. Um, if there's any space in here big enough to fit a person, I have been in that space. I think I left a hammer in here once that we haven't found yet. It's in the attic somewhere. If you can find it, return it and you'll get a price. Yeah. So, so for me, the personal connection to this temple is the, the part that I feel like I'm continuing that legacy, that I know so many of the names of those original builders mm -hmm. and the little bit of blood, sweat and tears that I've given it is maybe the, the next chapter in its story as well. Sure. Yeah. And after the renovations, after the, after the open house is done, after people continue to return here for their own ordinances, for serving ordinances, what are, what are a few just of your final thoughts mm -hmm. that you want people to know about this temple? Yeah. One of my favorite spaces that the architect was really great at when he was designing it is he put the baptismal font directly under the ceiling room where work for the dead takes place. So okay. I would love, so I love, I want people to think about that connection. The, the way that ordinances bind us first to God and then bind us to each other. And I love that in this building, they are literally stacked on top of each other. So I would tell people, come back and find those connections, find those things where you get to see Christ and you get to see Zion and the glory of this beautiful place we live in.